right, Rogers, you got the floor. <laughs> Senator Pastore, this is a philosophical statement and would take about 10 minutes to read, so I'll not do that. Uh, one of the first things that a child learns in a healthy family is trust, and I trust what you have said that you will read this. It's very important to me. I care deeply about children. My first children... Will it make you happy if you read it? I'd just like to talk about it, if all it's right, all right. Sir. Okay. My first children's program was on WQED 15 years ago, and its budget was $30. Now, with the help of the Sears Roebuck Foundation and National Educational Television, as well as all of the affiliated stations, each station pays to show our program. It's a unique kind of funding in educational television. With this help, now our program has a budget of $6,000. It may sound like quite a difference, but $6,000 pays for less than two minutes of cartoons, two minutes of animated what I sometimes say, bombardment. I'm very much concerned, as I know you are, about what's being delivered to our children in this country. And I've worked in the field of child development for six years now, trying to understand the inner needs of children. We deal with such things as, as the inner drama of childhood. We don't have to bop somebody over the head to make him, to, to make drama on the screen. We deal with such things as getting a haircut or the feelings about brothers and sisters and the kind of anger that arises in simple family situations. And we speak to it constructively. How long a program is it? It's a half hour every day. Most channels schedule it in the, in the noontime as well as in the evening. Uh, WETA here has scheduled it in the late afternoon. Could we get a copy of this so that we can see it? Maybe not today, but I'd like to see the program. I'd like very much for you I'd to like see I'd like to see the program itself, or any one of them, you see. We, we made a hundred programs for EEN, the Eastern Educational Network, and then when the money ran out, people in Boston and Pittsburgh and Chicago all came to the fore and said, we've got to have more of this neighborhood expression of care. And this is what, this is what I give. I give an expression of care every day to each child to help him realize that he is unique. I end the program by saying, You've made this day a special day by just your being you. There's no person in the whole world like you, and I like you just the way you are. And I feel that if we in public television can only make it clear that feelings are mentionable and manageable, we will have done a great service for mental health. Uh, I think that it's much more dramatic that two men could be working out their feelings of anger, much more dramatic than showing something of gunfire. I'm constantly concerned about what our children are seeing. And for 15 years, I have tried in this country and Canada to present what I feel is a meaningful expression of care. Do you uh, narrate it? I'm the host. Yes, and I do all the puppets, and I write all the music, and I write all the scripts. Well, I'm supposed to be a pretty tough guy, and this is the first time I've had goosebumps for the last two days. <laughs> well, I'm grateful not only for your goosebumps, but for your interest in, in our kind of communication. Could I tell you the words of one of the songs which I feel is very important? Yes. This has to do with that good feeling of control, which I feel that, that children need 
to know is there. And it starts out, what do you do with the mad that you feel? And that first line came straight from a child. I work with children do, doing puppets in, in very personal communication with small groups. What do you do with the mad that you feel? When you feel so mad you could bite. When the whole wide world seems oh so wrong and nothing you do seems very right. What do you do? Do you punch a bag? Do you pound some clay or some dough? Do you round up friends for a game of tag or see how fast you go? It's great to be able to stop when you've planned a thing that's wrong and be able to do something else instead and think this song. I can stop when I want to, can stop when I wish, can stop, stop, stop any time. And what a good feeling to feel like this and know that the feeling is really mine know that there's something deep inside that helps us become what we can for a girl can be someday a lady and a boy can be someday a man i think it's wonderful i think it's wonderful <clears throat> looks like you just earned the 20 million dollars <laughs> <laughs> After 11 years of leadership, President de Gaulle stepped down from office. 11 years in which he took his country from the doldrums to a seeming prosperity, but which in recent times slipped back into a nation of unrest. Uh, his country has turned its back on him. Monsieur Pompidou is tipped as a likely successor for the presidency, and that probably won't be decided until June 1st. The defeat of President de Gaulle was a shock. The referendum vote was for or against constitutional reforms. But everyone knew it was meant as a vote of confidence in the general. He lost and quit. There could be troubled times ahead. A lot depends on who becomes the next president. <laughs>